To determine the correct panel size, take the circumference of the trunk at a level midway between the lowest ribs and the upper iliac crest. The brace is available in two belt widths with lordotic or non-lordotic back panels. Before application, secure the belt ends. If a fit tool is not available, fold each belt arm equally to achieve the desired waist circumference and secure the belt ends. Detach the chest strap buckle. Ensure the belt compression system is stretched to its full width and reposition the compression system handles onto the belt arms. Ensure that correct spinal protocol is followed throughout the application. Position the belt by centering the posterior panel over the spine, with the bottom of the posterior panel approximately at the sacrococcygeal joint. Put the shoulder straps on like a vest or backpack. Wrap the lumbar belt around the waist and through the OSERFIT tool. Adjust the length of belt arms to position tool centrally. Secure the belt ends to desired sizing. If the patient's waist exceeds 50 inches or 127 centimeters, an extension belt can be added to each belt arm to reach a maximum belt circumference of 70 inches or 178 centimeters. Remove the fit tool from the belt. Place the belt ends into the overlap closures. To obtain the lowest profile fit, the belt arm ends can be trimmed if later adjustments are not required. Close the belt. Slide fingers through the holes in the two compression system handles and pull until the belt is at the appropriate tightness. If necessary, adjust the compression system cord length. Fit the shoulder strap to the correct position. If needed, remove alligator, trim the straps to desired length, and replace alligator. Pull webbing to tighten shoulder strap. Repeat these steps for the other side. Adjust the chest strap position by sliding the D-ring. Close the buckle and pull webbing to tighten.
brace may require fine tuning for comfort, fit, and stabilization when sitting, standing, or ambulating. The Miami TLSO 456 compression system also allows adjustments by detaching the belt arms from the hook and loop strip posteriorly. Trimming the belts at an angle can give the opportunity to accommodate different anatomies. 